In this video, we are going to discuss one of the coding questions asked in Vachosa. So, in this question, we have to create one student class with the fields, name, age, and marks. Now, if these marks are greater than 40, we have to print the student details. If the marks are lesser than 40, the program has to raise the exception. And that too, we have to create our own exception, and the name is grade exception. So see here, here we are giving the name and age is 19, let's assume 36, marks are 36. So here it is raising the exception, that is grade exception and the message is grade is too low. Now let's give the marks greater than 40, 45. So now it is printing student details, right? So this is how your code has to work. So before going to the video, just have a try and come back here. Now let's create one class that is student class class name that is student. Now the fields are name, age and another is grade or you can say marks. Now, for this student class, we have to create one constructor which will assign those values. Public class name. Now, for this, we have to accept those values. Now, how we can assign values to this student class object? Using this keyword, we have to assign those values. Why this keyword? This refers to the object. And for that object, we are having name. And for that name, we are assigning this value. We are taking this name here. Here, this dot name refers to this one. And here, name refers to this one. Now, this dot age is equals to age. This dot grade is equals to grade. Now, let's create one object for that student class. Student s is equals to new student and pass those values. First one name and next is age. Let assume 19 and the grade is 89 okay now these values go here whenever we are creating object the constructor will be executed and note one important point the constructor is not to create object it is to initialize the values of that object now these values will go here this name will go here, age will go here, and the marks will go here. And that values are assigned to that object fields. Now, if we want to call those values, we have to call them using object dot s dot name. Okay, here we are using marks but here it is grade so change to marks marks so we are getting the name now s dot age so it's fine our student class is working fine now the requirement is if these marks are lesser than 40 we have to raise one exception that is grade exception now to check that marks we have to create one method public void check marks or check grade now for that object if this dot meaning that object dot 
marks are lesser than 40 we have to raise the exception or we have to throw that exception system dot system dot out dot println lesser just we are checking that one before raising exception so after creating object I am calling that method s dot check grade what it will print 18 is lesser than 40 false this will not be executed now let's pass 39 ok it is printing lesser because 39 is lesser than 40 now we have to create one exception how we can create our own exception by extending the exception class class grade exception extends exception which is super class for all the exceptions now in this exception create one constructor for that customized exception and this constructor should accept the message using super method we have to call the constructor of exception class which can accept the exception message so here we are sending the message to the super constructor that is exception constructor which can accept message here we have to throw that exception throw new grade exception and in that what we have to say grade too low and then along with this value we have to send the marks also marks now exclude this one now it is returning some error because here we created our customized exception our method signature should be like this throws grade exception again we got one error that is unreported exception grade exception must be caught or declared to be thrown since it is related to exception we have to handle in try catch block inside try we have to place that method call and for that corresponding try block we have to write the catch method which can accept grade exception here we have to print that message e dot get message we are passing 39 value which is lesser than 40 so it is working fine now if it is not lesser than 40 maybe 45 at this time it has to display the student details for that we have to write one more method public void get details now this method has to print the student details student name now when this method has to be called when this condition fails right when this condition will be failed when the marks are greater than or equal to 40 so else get details now let's check now we are getting the student details right because student marks are greater than 40 so we are getting details of the student now convert this program to user input that is using scanner class we have to take the values from user 
scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in now we have to create variables string name is equals to sc dot neckline which can read string value and next int age is equals to sc dot next int which will read the age int marks is equals to sc dot next int now before to that system dot out dot println enter the student details so we have to import that scanner class import java dot util dot scanner now we have to pass these values to this constructor name h marks now check it enter the student details joel 1945 so it is returning expected one that is student details now so we are getting that exception now remove this get message so here joel 1923 so now we can see that it is like grade exception now the user requirement is changed like user has to enter the number of students and for each student we have to create that student object so how we can do that before that we have to accept the n value from user sc dot next int system dot out dot print enter the number of students so it will accept that n value now we have to run a loop for n times i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus now in that for each student object we have to assign values right now for this we have to create one array of student class students is equal to new student the size of this student array is n now let's take this line here so enter the student details just print i i plus 1 this code will accept name age and marks now we have to assign these values to that object that is students of i is equals to new student and we have to pass these values let's run this once s dot check grade okay comment this just enter 2 enter student details 1 first we have to enter the name okay why we are getting this error is after reading the integer value here the new line is taken by this method so to avoid that before reading that string value consume that next line the line after reading that integer value will be read by this method now here we will read that string value 
and integer value so let's check that to joel and integer value is 19 35 enter student details 2 so now john okay 21 42 okay it is working fine now we have to check the grade for each object for that we have to create another loop student s in students so what it will do it will iterate each student object in this students array fine so before that change this one which gives more meaning now enter number of students 2 enter student 1 details joel 1989 john 20 32 for first student it is giving the results because the marks are greater than 40 but in case of john it is returning exception that is the grade too low grade is too low if you want to add more meaning print that pass that uh, student name also so name plus grade enter number of students to joel 1989 john 20 32 so if you see here the exception is john's grade is too low so this is how we can create the exception class you can also write each printer in statement for each variable like enter name enter age enter marks which gives more meaning right the main part is creating our own exception how we can create our own exception using extends exception class and throw that exception for the required condition now in our main method we have to handle that exception using try catch 